Hey, what's up, guys? This is Fritz Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And this time when I say amazing, I really, really mean it. OK, because this technique is so powerful and I can see myself already using it in multiple client projects throughout this year. OK, so there is already a project where I'm pretty sure that I will use it for some movie titles. But you can just use it in all use cases where you want to have some cool effect with your typography, with your text. And the good thing about it is that the setup is completely procedural all right so you set it up once and then you can use it with all kinds of effectors for example here i used it with this twirling turbulence like this which looks just amazing but you could also set up your effectors in different ways i mean the forces so for example here i have this upwards movement with some gravity plus some wind effector and then you get these beautiful twirls and it just looks amazing so when you use this in your projects i'm pretty sure that your clients will feel impressed and they will love it here i used it obviously with some strange combinations of like Britney Spears and the song Lavender Haze from Taylor Swift doesn't make so much sense I just got some multiverse vibes where Taylor Swift is singing Poker Face from Lady Gaga or Ed Sheeran is singing Baby One More Time from Britney Spears I know it's completely hilarious and it is just to give you some examples okay <laughs> so don't blame me on it and say hey Marcus you're just an idiot it was just some fun idea okay so this is what you will learn here on YouTube today but I will keep it a little bit more short and condensed here on YouTube and will as always dive more deeper into it on my Patreon. So if you want to get the complete package of knowledge, as always, it is a good idea to follow me on my Patreon 3D Bonfire. There you will get over 200 exclusive tutorials and project files and promo codes, for example, for my products on Gumroad. So if you want to get some good discounts, for example, on the Marvel Kit or the Module Design Kit, then it is also a good idea to just join my Patreon 3D Bonfire for month or so okay you can also sign in for the free trial for the night's tier and this is where all the good stuff is happening you can enjoy my content for seven days download some project files and just feel amazing and then if you hate it then just quit it in these seven days before it turns into a monthly membership but if you love it then why don't you support me there all right and we can both spend some good time together other than that you can also follow me on instagram it's marcus gonza 3d if you want to see my latest artworks and stuff like that and just be up to date with my ideas for upcoming tutorials. If you don't want to become a Patreon, you can also support me on YouTube by ringing the bell, subscribe to my channel, do the good stuff. And if you want to go totally crazy and share some love, you can also write a comment because this helps the algorithm and I just love to read your comments and write something back. And it's a nice experience for both sides, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I think I already talked too much here and it is almost time to dive into Cinema 4D and just build that stuff. But maybe just quickly I fire up Pure here and I just wanted to let you know that right now on my Patreon I really focus on the pyro knowledge so if you want to learn something about the basics to set up your pyro effect and shade it in different ways for example to get some fire with smoke or some fire from an engine dense smoke lighter smoke or totally psychedelic smoke then you will find these two lessons on my Patreon also I just released a course smoke laboratory where I mix different colored smoke and just have a good time with you guys and mixing some colored smoke smoke all right so this is what you get right now on my patreon this month plus all of the other tutorials as i said it's about 200 tutorials and uh, yeah why don't you join it right okay so sorry for this last promo and i think now it is time to just dive into cinema 4d type in some text and put some sexy turbulence on it all right let's do it all right, finally in Cinema 4D and you can see that this scene, for example, is already cached. So when I scrub through my timeline, then you can see the upward forces here from the wind and gravity just doing their thing here. OK, I could also just quickly fire up the Redshift Render view, put it into my layout and let this one render for a second. And there you can see that this just looks amazing. And sorry that I say amazing so many times in this tutorial. I just use this word to describe my feelings toward this technique. So, yeah. I try to be a little bit more versatile with my words okay but you can see that this one is also looking beautiful amazing would be also a good description but let's call it beautiful okay so it is looking good but we don't want to dive into a pre-made scene but we want to build this one from scratch right so you get the best learning effect so i would say we start with a new scene here and of course you could do it with a sphere and turn this one into smoke or dust or fire or whatever but we want to work with text right so let's just open this one up and put a text object into our scene and i want to make the alignment a little bit better by putting this 
this one to middle. So this is directly placed in the world center. You can also put a figure into your scene to just see the size relationship here. So the text is quite huge to be honest. It will be totally fine but I just want to make it a little bit smaller. Put it to 150 or maybe 120 something like that and then you can do it with whatever you like. So put it to some crazy movie titles, some Hollywood star or some pop star. I will just go here with Miley Cyrus because I just checked the billboard charts and realized that Miley Cyrus is trending with her latest song Flowers or Ride. So let's just pick her for this example and honestly in this font here feels more like a boring German office, some finance stuff, some really boring stuff. So this doesn't give me the pop star vibes. So you should definitely choose another type here. I already installed some cool fonts here. Some of them I bought but some of them are also free and honestly this one is funny. Okay I just realized that I once downloaded a font called Starborn which is totally naive. It gives me more some Disney Clubs vibe but you could also go for something like Super Mario. This is a pretty cool font and maybe you know this one from the good old Nintendo 64 days. All right so just some sweet memories here but I want to choose for example this one which is called Sweet Raspberry and I think this is just a nice font here. So I will use this one and if you need some cool font then you can just go to dafont.com and just check out their fonts. Some of them are free to use, some of them you have to buy but overall you find all the crazy fonts of your wildest dreams. So if you want to go for something science fiction then just look at these beautiful fonts okay. It's, it's just such a crazy resource and yeah I just love it. So if you want to go for Sweet Raspberry I'm pretty sure you will find it here but also feel free to use your own font that you especially like all right so you could now just fill this one with smoke but I think it maybe could be helpful to bevel this one a little bit let's just go to the caps and put this one to two for example all right just give it a subtle rounding here maybe it could be also helpful to put it to a builder and a measure setup now go into the builder put this one to two for example and then maybe put the measure also into a remesher let's do it like that to just get some even topology on it. I'm not really sure if this is even necessary. I think you could also just directly turn this one into smoke but I just want to be sure that this one is kind of smooth so I want to remesh it and now go to simulation tags and put this one to a pyro emitter. All right I think it will be a good idea for now to make the font invisible and now to simulate this for a couple of frames. Now you will see that the Miley Cyrus font is burning here which is also a crazy effect but this is not what we are after here. So let's just go into the settings of our pyro emitter and we don't want to emit any temperature. Okay so just kill this one completely and we don't want to add density but we want to just set a density value of one for maybe just one frame all right. So I would just move forward to frame one set this one to one and then move one frame further set this one to zero and then we just emit a little bit of smoke which will then dissipate. Okay so this is the first problem that we have but overall this is a pretty good start all right. So press ctrl d to go to the pyro settings and it is always a good idea to just click on this button here to create a new attribute manager. Put this one directly into your layout. I learned this one from Noseman from the Maxon training team. So it's pretty helpful to have your pyro settings just here directly in your viewport. Okay and I don't want this one to dissipate. At least I don't want to dissipate it right from the start but maybe later I want to say hey from frame 80 to 100 now you can dissipate. So I think I will just set these two values to zero but I think what is really important is only the density dissipation because actually we don't emit any temperature into our scene so most probably you could leave this one at seven but only reduce density dissipation to zero and now when you have to smoke the smoke will just stay there. It doesn't dissipate but it will be affected by some internal turbulence and vorticity. So most probably you could also turn the turbulence to zero and also the vorticity which will give you a tiny little curse in your simulation. But I think you should just get rid of both of them. 
now what will remain in your scene is the upwards gravity so when i get over here there is some inbuilt gravity in the scene which will influence the smoke and the temperature and stuff like that so smoke is raising up and this rising up behavior will also be affected by the density buoyancy value of your smoke okay so i'm pretty sure when i would set this one to zero then maybe the smoke will stay in place yes that is true but when you set this one to minus five then because of the gravity now the smoke is rising up and you get already a quite cool effect okay so this one could already be a super powerful effect you have your smoke text but then the smoke is rising up and maybe then you animate the dissipation of it from here to there and let it dissipate so the text is gone so this is already a nice option let's just for now already give this one a lower voxel size to have more details in our text let me check this one more time so now more or less you can read it as Miley Cyrus but it looks like this is a bit huge in comparison to our text right okay so the text is like this but the smoke is like really crazy huge around it and this is because of the surface emitter settings in your pyro emitter tag so when you go here you could for example reduce this one to one and then the smoke will only be emitted in a radius of one around your text so let's double check how this one is looking okay it's not that overwhelming let me see this one more time so actually i wouldn't use this one as a surface emitter but i would just like to kill this one here now the smoke will be emitted from the volume of your text which is exactly what we want here and already you can see that this looks just awesome okay so you have your miley cyrus and then it will dissipate it will move with the gravity which is already in your scene so you don't even need to put some forces in it and it already looks amazing all right so this is a good start but i think i want to decrease the boxes size even more to put this one to one for example so the text is just a little bit more sharp and if you have some pixelation issues here i will solve this one on my patreon but for now here on youtube let's keep this one simple let's not make this one too long so you have the text here i want to just go into my scene settings and increase the gravity maybe to 5000 let's just see what will happen now so smoke is generated here and now the gravity is taking over and is moving this one upwards and this is already looking like an interesting transition from your text into smoke but of course this is just the simple basics of it but anyway now i want to render this one okay and when i would fire up my red render view here basically you can't see anything so what do you have to do you have to go to redshift material material and put a pyro volume onto your pyro output then you also have to be sure that on your pyro output you set the density to on because we want to work with density and you want to render this one so just be sure to set this one to on but still you can't see anything so i guess it is because we don't have any lights in our scene and i already put a red light up here okay so we get some red light from there and i put another area light down here some bluish tint from the bottom right and already you will have some nice smoke here but it doesn't look that overwhelming so you could still go into your pyro volume shader i want to just move this one over a little bit and for now i could also kill the attributes manager here we don't need it at that point we can also close the material manager move this one over and now you could for example decrease the absorption value to make it easier for the light to pass through your volume you could even put this one to 0.2 or 0.3 something like that okay now you can make the light from the top maybe just also blue i'm just curious how this one will look i like the purple color here together with the blue this is looking amazing let's put the intensity to 40 50 60 or even 70 that's already quite an amazing look here i like it and i guess this is already everything that i want to share here on youtube with you so from there you just have to play with it and build on it work with different forces and for example get rid of the pixelation but yeah we will take care of all of that stuff on my patreon but i think already now you have some good idea how you can use a text object to generate smoke from it and then it will dissipate as i said please play with the forces here you can use some uh, wind or gravity or turbulence of course to get different effects for example that is what i did here all right so just look at it one more time how beautiful this one is looking and we can also check this one one more time with the upwards movement and also on patreon i will show you how you can create this beautiful background here so this is just looking beautiful with the nice reflection here all right it looks like we need to come to 
to an end here. I hope that you learned something here on YouTube and get some crazy ideas what you can do with it. Just play with the values, with the effectors and um, different types. And yeah, I guess this is it for today. Thank you so much for your time. Have an amazing day. Be powerful, be prolific, feel awesome. Thank you once again. Bye everyone.